How's it going, everybody? So, um, just got this in today. I really don't see any other videos on these on YouTube right now. So, we're going to go ahead, unbox it, take a look at it, and, um, yeah, just kind of go over it. So, here it is out of the actual out bo outer box. Uh, we got four attachments up there, as you can see. And then there's the actual machine. Kind of disappointed it doesn't have working cylinders, but you know what? It was $20, and there really isn't another good backhoe model on 164th, so I'm not really going to complain too much. But let me get this uh, all the zip ties cut out of here, and we'll peel these off the back, and uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, well, here it is. So first impressions, I'm very happy that these stabilizers have more movement than I thought they did. I was not going to be happy if they were stuck almost all the way down. They do go up quite a bit, so that's nice. One thing that does suck is that your bucket does not dump, you know, curl or dump. It's just fixed there in place, but that's not the end of the world. Everything else moves on it. Uh, the 4-in-1 bucket is a cast piece. You can't open the 4-in-1, but it does have boom lift cylinders, which is nice. It has a beautiful dump angle and a beautiful curl because it doesn't have cylinders. And it will hold a pose, which is which is very nice. Uh, no steering on the front axle, obviously. Um, it's a mostly plastic piece, but yeah, the detail is not half bad actually. Um, inside the cab, you can see a little bit, you know, usual seat, steering wheel, all that good stuff. Um, the tires on it are very nice uh, rubber tires. They actually, they actually look pretty good. I like the finish on them. They're not glossy like some of the other ones. Um, and then your backhoe here has no working cylinders, but that means that you can get a really crazy range of movement. And as you can see, it holds it up, which is nice. So it's just stiff enough for that. It'll kind of curl up into that. And then obviously it'll swing both ways. So you can actually get some pretty good, um, like positions out of it. Like that doesn't look too bad. That'd look pretty good on a diorama. I mean, that's, that's really it. It's not that crazy of a model. It really is just a uh, 164th backhoe. It's, it's <laughs> leaps and bounds above the old John Deere ones. Um, so, you know, that really, it's kind of all that really matters. But let's take a look at the attachments now. So for the front of the machine, we obviously have the 4-in-1 bucket. You also get a set of pallet forks, which are pretty nice. I'm very excited about those. And you also get this, I assume it's a broom. It looks just like the uh, 164th uh, skid loader's broom. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop the bucket off. I assume it just pops off like normal. Yep, you just kind of pull on the bottom of it. There's your coupler. Go ahead and put the forks on. If I can get them in there. Hold on one second. There we go. There you go, you get the forks. Not too bad. Better than nothing, I'll tell you that much. Better than nothing. I don't think it's going to hold much weight. Try one of these logs here. Oh, it'll hold one of the logs up. That's awesome. Let's try a bigger log. Yeah, so it's, it'll hold up a little bit of weight. It's not going to hold up a million pounds. Let's go ahead. I hate that. I hate the plastic on plastic stuff. I'll try to pop this open without breaking it. Oh man, that's awful. It's very scary, awful scary. And then I'm not gonna even clip this one in because I'm not gonna keep this on. But then we also have this broom right here. It looks pretty cool. It's definitely something kind of unique um, that you can do with this machine. I'm gonna go ahead and put the bucket back on. And then we will take a look at the backhoe here. So this bucket comes off. I assume it just pops off like normal. I will check, yes it does, hold on. Very, very stiff on there. Okay. So obviously for the first time, you're gonna take the bucket off. It's gonna be kind of stiff, but just like the old school, like Norscott 150th backhoes. Pops out just like that. There's your coupler. I'm not gonna put either of these in um, just because I don't wanna have to uh, take them back off. So this looks to be some sort of compactor. There's like a wheel inside there. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see what the box says. If it says anything about the attachments. It does not. Um, but yeah, it looks like some type of plate. It looks like a plate compactor, but then it's got um, the wheel in there. It doesn't look like it's 
Yeah, no, it's cool, cool though. Go ahead, we'll just clip that onto the. There's a lot going on today. Not in love with this quick coupler system, but there's that. Maybe maybe it's a mulcher. I really don't know. I really can't tell. But that's that attachment. And then last but not least, we also we have the hammer, which is the one I'm the most excited for. It's a good looking little hammer. I'm just gonna try to get on without breaking anything. And there's the hammer, uh, which it's got a decent pose. You really can't have it posed straight up and down, but you know, bucket down, stabilizer's down. You can definitely pose it like that. It doesn't look too, too bad. I'm just going to go ahead and slap the bucket back on the rear here. And then I'll just kind of compare it to a couple other uh, 164th pieces of heavy equipment right here. And then we'll put it on a trailer. So behind it is the Americom 315C, uh, pretty much just the Chinese ripoff of the 187th 315 that uh, Norscott made. You can see they are you know, it's, it's a pretty good looking combo there. Uh, nothing too special, but uh, definitely looks definitely looks the part. Here it is next to the Americom D6 D6K, I believe. I think that's what this one is. This is another really, really cool model. I like this one a lot. I did do a video on all the Americoms probably about four years ago now. Uh, but that's a nice little dozer. It looks good next to it. Last but not least for the equipment, here's the Diecast Masters uh, 320F. It's the only other Diecast Masters 164th construction piece of equipment that I have. So there it is next to each other. Pretty decent. Uh, obviously, this one's a little bit better because it actually has good cylinders on it and stuff. But you know what? Some people are probably are going to enjoy not having these cylinders. So they're, so it's a little bit easier to mess around with. And it's, you know, not as... It, it definitely has a better range of movement. Let's toss it on a trailer. All right. So there it is on a Moore's Custom Farm Toys uh, tilt deck trailer on the back of this uh, green light Durastar that's been customized with a uh, dump body on it. It's a pretty good looking load on there. Definitely looks the part. Definitely like that a lot. Um, and uh, we'll do one more comparison. Last but not least is just a 164th pickup truck. This is another um, China pickup truck. These are the clones of the Sword 150th trucks. I love them. I love them. It's, a, it's my favorite body style Ford or one of my favorite body style Fords. So I had to make one that's out to be like a dream truck that I want. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good next to it. Looks the part. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of it with this video. Um, I really don't mess around with the models too much anymore. I really don't do videos as you guys could see. Um, but I, uh, pre-ordered this a while back and it literally showed up my door today and I went, Oh, cool. I looked on YouTube and there's no other videos on this. So I figured, Hey, you know what? I'll toss a video up and, uh, just help people out. So yeah, it's not a crazy review. Uh, people are going to be more detailed than that on their reviews, but it's uh, good enough for now, and it's better than nothing. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. See ya. Just wanted to tack this on at the end. I was just going to take some pictures, and uh, I realized you can't have the hammer on there in a transport mode unless you ran it like that. So that's just another thing to be, uh, be aware of, we'll say.